Hi, I'm Miklas, I'm working on my tower defense game and this is a new enemy type. The idea for it is that if it doesn't change direction for a while, it increases its speed, it, it accelerates. Uh, yeah, that was pretty pretty easy to do and uh, the reason to why I created this behavior is because uh, as the player creates the maze, uh, it might be tempting to just create very uh, you know rectangular shapes going left right left right so uh, if I add this kind of enemy from time to time to some waves it will punish this behavior because it will get faster and faster the longer it goes in the straight line the way it's set up is I think pretty neat uh, I just created a copy of my existing enemy and before I used to have the walking code directly in the enemy script but now I've separated it, there is a reference to a walking component and this handles all the movement and that allows me to create an alternative version of the walking component so compared to the normal one which just tries to walk the shortest distance to the end uh, this one has a new function which checks whether the direction has been changed and if it has been changed it uh, resets the speed but if not, it accelerates it by some amount until the enemy reaches a maximum speed. So this way the enemy code is still fairly simple and if I want to add 5 more walking behaviors, I just create 5 more, five more files instead of having one huge file in the enemy full of code that almost none of the enemies will be using. So this is working great, but I also wanted to add some way to visualize how the enemy is gaining its speed so I wanted the eyes to glow so my first idea was to go into Photoshop and I've painted some glowing eyes and actually I went into the mode and I changed the colors to 32 bits per channel what 32 bits colors allow me to do is to go for colors brighter than traditional white so you can see that even though the preview gets white uh, the, there are values that are still changing and yeah this is HDR this is for 2-bit colors it's similar to what for example uh, cameras do when they take raw pictures and I saved the file as EXR and to my surprise uh, actually Godot supports EXR from the from the go and this kind of worked uh, if I go into my test level and I drag in the EXR you can see the eyes are glowing because I have the world environment node with glow enabled but if you scale it down uh, it doesn't really work and unfortunately my enemies are quite small so this didn't work but then I tried to add lights and this is somehow handled differently by the rendering pipeline so this actually works uh, if I add the lights uh, yeah there's now glow coming from their eyes which is great but it's still not changing not visualizing how the speed is changing so in the script I added a little piece of code which just linearly interpolates between the default color and the final color based on the speed uh, it also increases how much it shines and then in the uh, in the process code every time I just have to call this function so update lights and now if I run it hopefully yeah the eyes are changing from green to red and once the enemy changes direction it resets back to green and lowers the shine so I don't know how many lights can go to handle at one time uh, but so far it's working great, so we'll see uh, how, how long it can handle it. Okay, that's it for, for this one. This was just really quick change, but yeah, it's a lot more fun with more enemy variation. Uh, it's not just the basic guys that walk to the end. So I'm planning to add more enemies in the future. That's it. Bye.